Messiah in their own Bible. The same anointed one, the one that's chosen in their Bible. Evidence. Watch this. So this is a Christian missionary tactic. This guy sits and watches our videos for more than a year, just sits there and prepares to bring an off-the-wall random question to try to misconstrue ideas. Because they cannot prove the divinity of Jesus from their own books, what they try to do is they say, oh, look, Jesus, Isa, has been called Masih. That's a, that's a title he's been given, meaning the anointed or the chosen. So he says, oh, this means that he's different from all the other prophets. And to the ignorant Muslim, they will try to then make this seem as if Jesus is divine. Peace and blessings be upon him as a prophet. He's a prophet. But this is a random question that they try to use as a tactic. So we're going to give them evidences. We're not just about debates. I will take all the books to the park to show them. But I know from past experiences with Wood and others, when you take the books and evidences, they just run away. And I know this missionary is going to do the same thing. So I'm going to scan and put those evidences in this video as well, so that any other missionary that tries to fool or trick a Muslim, they will have, the Muslims will have these evidences to show them. So what does Al-Masih mean? Here from Al-Ma'ani, from the famous Arabic dictionary, it shows Al-Masih, it is somebody who's anointed, somebody who is blessed, somebody who is a, a king or a prophet. It can be used for prophets generally. Now, let's look at the evidences from their own books, from the Bible. I will give evidences from the Quran, from a hadith, but I'll also give evidence from their own book. If you look at Psalms, you will, this is again, this is pre-Jesus, this is Old Testament, right? Here in Psalms, 1850, you will see the word Masih. I've highlighted it. Masih being used for Dawood, for David and his progeny, that is to come, his descendants that will be prophets like Solomon and so on. So here, Masih, the same word that he's like, oh, never been used except for Jesus, is being shown in his own book. And you will see it used for Cyrus. In fact, you will see it used all over the Old Testament, being used for other than Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him. Now this Psalms 105.15, this is very clear. It shows the plural sense being used for prophets. And it says, do not touch my anointed one. This is the Musahi. This is the one who is Masih. And then he and explains that do, the, do my prophets no harm. Showing that this word Masih is used for prophets. Now, if he wants evidence from the Quran, we'll give evidence from the Quran. This is from Tafsir al-Tabarin. This is an evidence-based Tafsir, not an opinion. This is based Athaf, right? Here, when the word Masih is used, Ibn al-Waqi'ah, his hadith, with the chain, he explains this word from his father, Yani al-Waqi'ah ibn Jarrah, from Sufyan, from Mansur, from Ibrahim al nakhai who explains the word Masih to mean a Siddiq, those that are truthful, and those that are anointed with Barakah, meaning those that were prophets. In fact, in the evidence base, now again, this is evidence based tafsir, Mathur, it shows that Ibrahim al Nikhai and uh, Hassan al Basri explain this word to mean those that were blessed, those that were chosen. Now, the ulema of Islam, based on these evidences, have said that Masih is a word that is, that is used as a title, as it was for Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, but it can be used, yaqsud bihi kullu nabi. It can be reference to any prophet. And what is the ma'anahu? What is the meaning? Al-Mukhtar min Allah, the one who is chosen by Allah. This is the evidence-based response. And now, if they were sincere, they would have said yes. In our own book, we have others called Masih. So 